What is up guys, this is Power Bang. welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Been out traveling most of this week, but we are back in the office and we arrived to a very, very welcomed message in the in-game news. We're going to elaborate more on that in just a moment, but it deals with one of the most commonly asked questions on the channel. And that is, what about engineered bases, Power Bang? Are they ever going to do something about it? When is the fix going to come? Well, we've got your answer. Let's see if it's a good one. So in the news in-game, Clan War matchmaking improvements happen today. The, the update has not happened yet, but the announcement communicating the fact that they're thinking about implementing a brand new Clan War matchmaking system. That is now public information. So now the weight has been lifted off of my shoulders, off of other YouTubers' shoulders that always get this question, when are they going to do something? about the engineered bases in Clash of Clans, and for those of you that don't know what that is, you've been living under a rock, but that is heavily strategized, you know, defense as far as not building defense to keep up with your higher level of offense. This allows you to take out bases well above, you know, the town hall level where you currently are at. So we're going to see more of that in just a minute, but in the in-game news, if you click this little uh, icon with the two notepad things over on the right, Click that, it pops right up. Clan War Matchmaking Improvements. Let's go through what the Clash team said about their upcoming changes and break it down a little bit. And I want to ask you guys some questions about engineered bases and what you guys think um, as far as your opinions go. So today, they post, One of our most important goals in matchmaking for Clan Wars is to ensure that each clan is more evenly matched against the other. We've made the changes and updates to our matchmaking algorithm over time. We also understand that much more needed to be done to provide an enjoyable war experience while preventing one clan from having a major advantage over the other. In short, they're basically saying, listen, people, we hear you. We're actually going to do something about it. So, you know, your voices have been heard. I know I, I get it all the time, man, in social media, on the videos. What about engineering? And I don't control that, but you know what? I, I haven't known what to say until now, so I'm really happy they put out this post talking about it publicly. So now we're kind of all on the same page. We wanted to share with you that we are making improvements to the algorithm uh, and how it functions in order to address engineered bases in the matchmaking feature. This new functionality will take more into account as far as total weight is concerned with regards to both offense and defense. So, guys, instead of just looking at defense, uh, for example, and kind of trying to matchmake based on that, and then not really taking into account the fact that there's maxed out Town Hall 11 troops or whatever the case is, this is opposed, you know, supposedly going to get better in the future. What this means for you is that your clan will be more evenly matched against other clans that have similar builds. Now, as far as engineering goes, uh, you know, in the first place, what are your guys' thoughts on engineering? Is this, you know, fair, first off? I mean, is it like freedom of speech, essentially, where, you know, you're playing within the game's rules, you're playing within the game's parameter parameters. It's just a more strategic way in order to help you get more clan war wins. Is that kind of your thought? Or is it... You know, yes, more strategic and you're building your base in a certain way, but is it essentially, you know, you're you're playing a pickup basketball game, but instead of going to the court with kids your own age, you're going to the elementary school and posting up, you know, a team with a bunch of elementary school kids, you know, kindergartners, and trying to play ball with them and then celebrating after you beat them. Like, that's the other argument. So I kind of feel, you know, it's more, I don't get the 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 fun behind beating people that are clearly outclassed um, as far as, you know, bases go. It doesn't really make much sense to me. I'm in it for the challenge of winning. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'm really curious to kind of hear. Um, I think I know which way you guys are going to lean, but hey, I could be wrong. So to keep going, one of the challenges in creating a matchmaking system is to allow players to retain their creativity in their base design and playstyle. We wanted to make sure that your strategies are not invalidated, just more evenly matched against others who share your playstyle. Now, to break that down a little bit, I'm not sure about being invalidated. Because to me, if I'm an engineer and I'm building my base in, in a way that I'm completely neglecting my defense in order to focus on offense and heroes and really kind of level that stuff up, I think that my playstyle will be invalidated because if I'm going to match up against other clans of people doing the same thing, there is no inherent advantage there in order to have that, you know, 
engineered base because you're not gaining any, you know, leverage over the other team because they're doing the exact same thing to you. So you basically have a bunch of overpowered offense, you know, three-starring the whole enemy. And I guess it could come down to skill at a point, but where do you cap that? Is it just going to be two perfect wars? I mean, like, it seems crazy to me. So I feel like it will be invalidated to an extent, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens on the matchmaking. So it says, our improved algorithm is an evolutionary step that's evolutionary, not revolutionary. They're not tooting their own horn there. But to evolve, uh, you know, the game. It's it's definitely changing. They, it's an evolutionary step in making sure clans will be matched more frequently against opponents of equivalent difficulty. It kind of goes to my point before, what's the point then of engineering if engineers are going to be matched with, with engineers? Now, I'm applauding this because this is what I think people have been complaining about the whole time. Folks that are building their bases traditionally want to match up with others who are doing the same thing so that the spirit of competition is not necessarily encroached upon, and it's fun for both sides. So... The uh, furthermore, we've also built in a certain degree of flexibility into the new system that allows us to fine tune the matchmaking weights as needed. This will allow us to monitor the matchmaking, make changes if we feel the weights are too heavy or not heavy enough. Now, listen, this means that they're putting in an entirely new system that is going to be able to be tweaked, it sounds like, between updates. So like hot fixes as they go based on if their their hand was too strong or if it wasn't quite hard enough. They got to be able to tweak that stuff as they go. In order to do that, they need data. So be patient, guys, if it isn't exactly perfect when it comes out. Odds are that it won't be. This is a challenging thing to solve. But once it comes out, they'll have the opportunity to monitor what's going on and make changes as they go. That's extremely important. The matchmaking algorithm is currently still in development and is slated for a near future release soon, but we wanted to make sure we communicated this to you all and let you know that an ensuing uh, your, and that ensuring an enjoyable clan war is just as important as us to us as it is to you. Now, that's a nice note. One thing uh, to look at Supercell's history of announcing things publicly. Typically, they don't announce things publicly unless it's soon to follow. The only exception to this is the boat and the hype that came around that a few months ago. Um, that was the only thing that kind of lingered a little bit too long, in my opinion. I think they probably have learned their lesson from that, and I would expect that this change goes live here in the very near future. Now, if this does work, this would be big news in Clash of Clans. As you can see, we are in battle day in the closing minutes of a war where PB's Punishers is getting worked over right now by an Asian clan. Uh, don't know their name, but I do know that they have taken out everybody on the board here except for uh, Warm Soda and myself. Now, I gotta toot my own horn here for a little bit. They have now attacked my base five times. Everybody else they made pretty quick work of, um, but I'm holding strong right now. Holding strong, gonna try to keep them from the perfect war. We'll see what happens. They're still trying to get that three-star locked up. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. So I'm still defending during this video even. Uh, looks like we defended one against their number five. So they are running out of attacks up top, which I'm thankful for, but they still have a couple more guys at eight and nine to, to hit. So looking at their side, now, their top guys, it doesn't look too bad. They're actually basically maxed out bases. Uh, so I was able to hit that guy. We look at uh, this guy here. 91% um, two-star on this one. Almost picked up the three-star here. Didn't quite get it. But, I mean, again, really kind of, uh, you know, crazy strong bases. Let's look at the replay in this one just because, you know, show you what I'm up to. I was working on that drag loon uh, with the clone. And the crazy thing is... All of the air defenses are way off on the side. Now, due to the kind of the state of the war at the time, every star counted. And, you know, as the strategy would go, the drag loon, you want to come from the air defense side and take that out early. Now, on this side, that is where the town hall is. So, essentially, if I got to the town hall coming from the other side, it would be a three star. So, I had to three star the base in order to get the town hall and secure two. So, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to go with the save two and hopefully... Uh, I get lucky with a late Grand Warden ability, and I can take out a couple of uh, defenses around those Air Ds and have the Queen walk all the way down the side of the base over there and pick up the Air D at the end. So, drags in, loons in, just kind of doing their thing, going through the base. Everything's looking pretty decent right now. Uh, the loons go in a really nice rage on the other side, take out the Inferno Tower, and the drags continue to push their way through. So, Clone Spell comes down, a couple more dragons full health now right in the middle of the base. They're pushing their way through. Things looking all right. And then it'll ultimately, it kind of dies out in the core here. Warden pops the ability. It was a little bit early. 
and the air defenses uh, do their thing. The queen did not work up as quickly as I would have liked to take out that air defense, but that's okay. She's going to pop the ability. We end up taking out the last few buildings over on the right. Almost got enough taken out. Just those few defenses there around the air defenses on top, and that is that 91% on that base. But to get back to the point on engineering, we scroll down on their side. They went from Town Hall 11s straight to Town Hall 9s. Literally no Town Hall 10s in the lineup. And then a little bit lower than that, you start to see engineered 11s. And it's just like, what in the world is going on? So let's uh, let's see if we can find some bases in here. Uh, of kind of an example of what we're talking about. Like right here, for example, we got maxed out walls, a Town Hall 11. Um, we got maxed offense on this guy, I believe. Um, yeah, thir thir <laughs> 45 Queen, 20 Grand Warden, and it's measuring well below Town Hall 9 troops. So that is a problem. And this is the type of base that Supercell says now that they're trying to combat. We have public confirmation that they're finally going to try to take a stab at fixing engineered clash bases. I don't know, guys. Do you think they can do it? I don't know how much confidence I have, but it is good to hear that they do have a system in route to try to deal with these bases. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Just wanted to bring you the news if you did not check the in-game tab. I know a lot of people don't, um, but fixing engineered bases is like... A must have in order to have a healthy war community and for those that don't arrange with other clans regularly I'm really hopeful that this will be the change that you guys are seeking I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see but hopefully we see this in the next little mini update that comes out real soon that's all I got for this video guys if you like to hit the like button let me know your thoughts on engineer bases in the comments and that is going to do it for now last little plug I started streaming on Facebook live today so if you haven't followed my Facebook the link for that will be in the description you might come over and check check a few of the live streams out um just testing things out i don't really know what the hell i'm doing yet but hey we're gonna get there that's all i got though power bank signing out till next time guys take care